Okay, good morning. Welcome to Minute Math number 169. Minute Math number 169. First video with our new whiteboard. This is going to be awesome, right? Yeah. Um, so, uh, here we go. The smallest number greater than 2 that leaves a remainder of 2 when divided by 3, 4, 5, and 6 is what number? Hmm. You understand the problem? Yes. Okay, good. You know, I forgot to look where this was from. I was so excited to do the video on our new board. <laughs> oh well. This, this is a good problem. We've, we've talked about this about a year ago. So, um, actually this is the thing, kind of stuff we started up uh, last school year with. So, what are, what are some ideas you have here? Well, we could try numbers that are two more than a multiple of six. Ah, okay. Trying numbers that are two more than a multiple of six. So, eight and fourteen. Okay. Well, 8 doesn't work because it's 4 times 2. Alright. Let's try four, 14. Well, the only problem is it doesn't leave a remainder of 2 when we divide it by 5. Okay, that's good. Alright, so we've eliminated 8 and 14. Now, you definitely could just keep going and find the smallest one um, just using multiples of 6. Is there any way you think you could speed this process up? If we go to a if we go to like a pretty large one. Well, but then you won't know if you found the smallest one. Mm. How can we speed this up? How can we speed it up rather than just listing all the numbers that are two more than a multiple of six? Well, we need it to be two more than a multiple of three, two more than a multiple of four, two more than a multiple of five, and two more than a multiple of six. Aha. Uh -huh. <coughs> okay. Now. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little cough. Does that remind you of anything? How can we find a number that's a multiple of 3, a multiple of 4, a multiple of 5, and a multiple of 6? We can do the least common multiple. Ah, the least common multiple, or the LCM. It's been a long time since we... The LC yeah, been a long time since we talked about that, but you did remember it, which is cool. The least common multiple of 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright, how do we figure out what the least common multiple is? We have to take the prime factors. Okay, so it's the prime factors are 3, 2 squared, 5, and what the 2 prime? times 3. 2 times 3. Okay. So we need, we need a 2 squared, a 3, and a 5. Okay. Which is. It's 60. Okay, so that's 60. That's the least common multiple. So what is the smallest number greater than 2 that leaves a remainder of 2 when divided by 3, 4, 5, and 6? 62. 62. I think the answer is they wanted it between another Yeah, number. they did. The choices were like between 30 and 35, 40 and 45, whatever, whatever. But you needed to find what it was. Now, if you would have just listed these out like you were doing, it would have taken you until you got up to 62 to yeah. find one. If you couldn't, if you didn't remember the least common multiple, one way to make this just a little bit faster would be to do two more than a multiple of six and a multiple of five. So That's that would be thirty, right? Mm -hmm. so you could have took thirty-two. Now does thirty-two work? No, because it's a multiple of four. That's a multiple of four. Now we check sixty-two. And then so let's sure let's see. That's two more than a multiple of six. Two more than a multiple of five. Is it two more than a multiple of four? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because sixty four times what is sixty? Four times fifteen is sixty. And is it two more than a multiple of three? Yeah, three times twenty. Three times twenty. That chair's a little squeaky. Yeah, I know. Alright, there we go. First new video with the the new whiteboard. Ooh, this is this is a bad racer. Grab that other one in the race. Alright, good job this morning, huh?